All right, so next up, you know, they funny to me. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna put y'all on blast. <laughs> we have Jean and Kasim coming up. They talk, what, let me see, Big Chunky and what? Chubby and Big Chunky, what, what, what? What, what's the stage name? Yes. Say it again. Big C and Chunky. And they told me like to convince me that they were a little bit larger than everybody else. I said, but you have to understand, I come from big people. I ain't no little person to begin with. So my brothers are big. So they, they looked at me like, don't you see we big? I said, I'm used to rolling with people 350 and 400 pounds. No, y'all don't, y'all little, y'all peewee compared to the people I usually hang with. So let's welcome them to the stage. Sorry for the pain he endured. As I walk upon this earth, I surely search for a cure. They used to call a ship and said that we were flawed. But little do they know that flowers grow from a norm. And I'm sorry for the hate that you did, brother. I'm sorry for the failures when you tried, brother. But what kind of punk mind state will push a great king to hate? I guess it's just your fate. So constantly like Constantine, I keep fighting these demons. Over 26 and I deceived from a semen. Mama said I'm something like a genius. But I think way too much with my penis. Yeah, I'm gone. Damn soldiers, I'm gone. Can hear my system and I'm feeling so. It's past every level in this game called life. And if it was a serial man, it'll be called life. Feeling like I'm Bob Marley fighting for a reason. Buffalo soldier man, it's buffalo season. Portrayed by the greats on every single bar. Was riding through the city way before I had a car. He stayed with the hammer on him, like Thor. Cause these haters wanna see him dead. Like saw, they like chunk, why you spit so raw? Cause I be chopping the beef up. But y'all and I do it for the ones who really shouldn't. I do it for the ones who really couldn't. So I beg my brothers, please don't hate. Get your money up, participate, yeah. Sex is some dread. It's exercise some patience. Well, let me be the one you hate, brother. Well, let me be the one you hate, brother. Let's exercise some patience. Let's put aside the hatred. Let me be the one you hate, brother. Let me be the one you hate. So I had the other day, daughter. Little tricycle training wheels, yeah, you taught her. Had me reminisce when we would really round the corner. If I had my last quarter, I was fitted with you. By a small bicycle, we would split it in two. Best friends, yeah, inseparable, but who would've known? That one day he brought my mama house Putting them tears inside my mama's eyes Damn And that's the day he lost a limb And that's the day I thought I lost the best friend Pops used to warn me about the friends that I kept But if I was a little stronger, yeah, I probably wouldn't have wept So when you see my father, please don't tell him shit Cause I'm supposed to be the one you have the problem with Cause we were friends, yeah, I thought we was we even shared a last name, I could have called you cuz. Uh. Let's put aside the hatred. Let's exercise some patience. Just let me be the one you hate, brother. Just let me be the one you hate, brother. Let's put aside the hatred. Let's exercise some patience. Just let me be the one you hate, brother. Just let me be the one you hate, brother. You are such a baddie Ooh, baby girl And can you please tell me With love to you How you get to love somebody He plays cards, he play a model You get paid, you getting laid No love, no sorrow, see you tomorrow Uh-uh, chick a better picture A free free, we enjoy it and we young That's what it's supposed to be I'm trying to blame Cupid for one You know further than close to me But your beauty Cause ain't no put it down quite like 
You were such a badass, but I miss you. Ooh, baby girl. And can you please tell me with nothing if I get to love? I'm trying hard not to call first. Anticipating for a second round within this power game. I'm feeling weak now. Call a new girl by your name, tell her just to keep it freaking. But if she's so shy, she'll be taking shots. I show she get home. I want the darling, tell me, do you miss me? Or do I just feel tied to you? Believe me, she squeezes me every time she sees me. You leave me there. Cause ain't no one put it down quite like you were such a bad You leave me there all And can you please tell me with love to live how you get to love somebody You leave me there all Ooh, baby girl Cause ain't no one put it down quite like you were such a bad But I miss you Black Crayon, you willing to do another one? All right, come on, son. Pigeon's wife. Could break a heart like Porgy Boy. A naughty toy was she, caught in an old blues between a French kisser and a cousin from Vincent Street. A crimson speech did hang men who shot men and fought men who thought men best to tab with way up. She was an European's dream. Her fallopian schemes did spread out babies in trees. Next to bananas did leave, mocking the mums hustling Jeremy's lead. And when the felonies came, she bombed jails. She bright gavels, that bitch had by apples. But in the four years of white chapel, she mingled, sprinkled on father's tongue. She'd stride to the tip and pose, dressed in vice, voice in dress, her breast in her west, and pigeon on she man. All right, so next up, let's see. Jamal Bruce, do you have another one you'd like to share? You could do one? Come, come do one for the people. Okay, so, um, good night again. This one is called Tears on a Notepad. Now, I don't have the best voice in the world, but I think I'm carrying no to save my life. So, if you don't mind. <laughs> that was not planned. Anyways. Um. But I'll miss you most of all. My darling. When autumn leaves start to fall, she was the best poem I ever wrote. I made sure every single line left readers speechless. With every grasp of a pen, I wrote each thought about her. From her clever similes to her thoughtful metaphors, for she was someone I wrote about over a million times. With every stroke of ink, I fight to keep my jaw from cringing, knowing she'd appreciate each sentence. Within writing, in the midst of writing, I realized that I wrote pages on pages with still enough flair to bring a smile to anyone who reads, making me excited, more than proud to call her my own. That is until the ink dried. She was no longer my piece. The chemistry between pen and paper were no more. The lines were off. She wasn't the same anymore. And I tried 
and I tried to make this piece whole again, but I guess it was just a job. But with aching wrist, I continue, I continue to write my thoughts about her, for I know that I won't let her die. She was the best poem I ever wrote. She was my passion, my inspiration. She was the best poem I ever wrote, and I will ever embrace it. I will miss you most of all, my darling, when autumn leaves start to fall. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah, um, those who were there before, they heard a piece I performed. It was called Black Shadow in the Dark. Um, it was something of my unpublished audio book called Elisa's Umbrella. So I'm going to do a, another one of that collection entitled Cold Chisel. Shards of glass. Present. Future. Past. Laid on the ground. Reflecting pieces of self unto the onlooker. Me. Chisel in hand, I began to pound away the pieces of self till the small shards thin back to sand. I was glad. It had been three months now since it began. First with a full mirror, reflecting a man, a man of stone. Stone used to break bones, hearts and souls. Stone used as foundation to build layer upon layer of fortress. That stone was split in two, heart and mind. He guarded his heart but opened his mind. And little did he know that his mind would confess the key to his chest, because as was he a reflection of self, his mind was a reflection of heart. Know his mind and know his heart, and this she did know. Still, he clutched that chisel and chipped away the tiny bonds holding him together. That elastic ego, the expectations of his army, that dependency on physical for shelter. But that was three months ago. Now, he scrambles to pull together the pieces he needs and he manages to put together a miniature vanity mirror in the shape of a heart. In that shard, the elastic ego bursts with tensions from both ends. The expectations of the army of stones crushes his soul. He lies. He tries to live up to the expectations of the rock that he once was. Unmoved and unbroken by the effects of a mere chisel. But the chisel, cold as ice, believes that the rock was not broken. Mocks the rock for being a liar, but the rock isn't a rock. Merely a pile of rubble unable to bear the pressure of that cold chisel pounding away at the sediment of stupidity because let's face it, love is stupid. Like being a rock is stupid. Like having an army is stupid. Like a chisel is testing. But I think that the chisel is stupid too. I mean, doesn't she feel my grip? Holding on? Refusing to let go and just throw that cold chisel out of it, but no, because being a rock is stupid. Being a rock means you are unable to feel pain. Being a rock, you are neither alive nor dead. Being a rock, you're not living. I want to feel pain. I am human. I'm alive, soon to be dead. I am human. I want to live. I am human. If only that rock would realize. If only that chisel would realize. If only that rock and that chisel would meet eyes. Only then would we survive. Only then would we become human. Thank you.